Hey guys, it's Kelly from fitnesswinner.com and today I have a body weight only cardio workout for you. We're going to be doing 45 seconds on with 15 seconds rest in an ABAB format. I've included your warm up and your cool down, so let's go ahead and get started. All right, so we've got a built in warm up. We're going to start off with that 45 on 15 seconds rest uh, structure, but we're going to start nice and light so that we like I said, we have a built-in warm-up. So go ahead and get your feet moving. We're going to start off with sidestep jacks. So nice and light. Start on one side, just step out. And so you're doing the motion of a jumping jack with your arms, but you're just kind of tapping lightly from side to side instead of jumping. So increasingly, these intervals are going to get sweatier and sweatier. This first little bunch is quite easy while our muscles are warming up. After that, it's going to turn into a sweat fest, hopefully. Over halfway. You can start to pick up the speed as you get comfortable, as you start to feel your body warm up. 10 seconds. Five. All right, so 15 seconds rest. Remember to always keep your feet moving. Uh, never want to be still during this. So at least a box or shuffle, but you can always make it harder if you need to. We're doing walk downs plus a back bow. So walk all the way down to your flat, drop yourself down, come up for a back bow. This is a total body exercise. And it kind of forces you to get a good stretch too on the way down. So lower yourself, come up, squeeze your glutes. Push back up. So if you're not very flexible, you can always come here, bend your knees until you can get to the floor. So your hamstrings are tight. 10 seconds left. Five seconds. All right, now we're going back to that second round of those Side step jacks, so keep your feet moving. Throw a little arm work in there as well for that warm up. Two, one, here we go. Just side to side. Enjoy the easy stuff while it lasts. Make sure you're staying up nice and tall. Try to keep good posture while you're doing these exercises. Make sure you're not um, doing kind of a half, half-hearted jumping jack motion. Keep your arms straight. Try to move slower if you have to and get the full range of motion instead of doing a quick, you know, not full effort version. 10 seconds left. Two, one. All right, get this feet moving. Going down into those uh, walk down back pose. <laughs> Five seconds. Two, one, here we go. I know I use a uh, variation of walk downs in my routines often because I love them. They feel good, but they work so many different muscles. There's lots of different ways you can modify them. They're kind of fun. About 20 seconds left. Ten seconds. Two, one. All right, so next up, we are doing two knee pulls. So we're still in that lower impact, lower intensity warm up period, but we're going to start picking up here after this. So again, if this is too easy, step up the intensity of your rest. Otherwise, here we are. So we're one, two, one, two. So this is nice and low impact, but if you want to step it up, I mean, just add in some jumps. You can always make things easier or harder as you need to. Otherwise, feel free to stay here. It's all about what works for you. Over halfway done. 
Try to get in a little crunch. Flex your core while you're doing this. This is definitely an abs exercise, as well as a cardio exercise. Got about five seconds left. All right, next up we're doing a lunge plus a rotation. I got about five seconds rest left. Here we go, so we drop down into that lunge, rotate, rotate, in the center, come back up. So your legs are probably gonna be start burning. We are holding that uh, lunge. You're also working your core. about halfway already. If you're not feeling very warmed up yet or if you're new to exercise, you can just keep your lunge nice and shallow and just kind of step forward instead of a really deep lunge. But if you want to make it harder, sink down into it. Come here, here, center. Two, one. All right, 15 seconds rest. So if you're not sweating at all, you know, we're several minutes in at this point, we're quite a good ways in, so you can start to really step up those uh, intensities of both the intervals and your rest periods. All right, two knee pulls. So like I said, the harder version, start jumping around. And you can always mix it too. So if you're here and you start to get winded, or your emotions start to get sloppy, just take it back down. And honestly, um, the combination of both is a really great way to make pretty much any routine work for yourself and to improve your fitness really well because you can always alter it and modify it and push yourself when you need to and then lay back, let off in intensity a little bit, but you're not stopping. Just five seconds left. All right, so we're doing that lunge plus a rotation. So like I said, if you're Need more of a challenge, step up your rest, rest intervals. Two, one, here we go. So sink down, turn to each side, come back up. So after this point of the routine, now that you're nice and warmed up, you can also make it quite a lot harder by adding weights. So holding on to weights while you do this kind of stuff makes it a lot more difficult. Got about 20 seconds left. Ten. Five. All right. Next up, we're doing two jumping jacks plus a lateral jump. Move my mat out of the way here. So this is one of those exercises that can make you feel a little bit uncoordinated, but that's the whole point. You're teaching your brain to pay attention while you're moving. So two jumping jacks plus a lateral jump. Come to the center, two jacks, here and here. So if you'll notice I'm doing uh, my first lateral jump on a different side each time. You're gonna wanna do the same. So if I jump left here, I'm gonna jump right first the next time. 15 seconds left. And as you get more and more comfortable, try to jump further and further on each side. Two, one. All right, next up we have push up plus a reach. So drop down your mat if you've got one. Five seconds left. Here we go. So do the hardest version of push-up that you can. Tap your foot behind you. Now come back down. Do another push-up. Turn the other way. So not only are you getting all the benefits of a push-up, which there are tons, there's hardly any muscles you're not working during a push-up, but you're also getting uh, extra butt work and extra core work because of that rotation. 120 seconds. 
Just a few minutes away from a water break. Five seconds. All right, jump back up. Another one of those lateral jumps plus jacks. All right, remember, make the active rest as hard as you need to. You can do burpees if you want. <laughs> Be my guest. Two jumping jacks plus the lateral jumps. Here, two. Make sure you're not holding your breath. Remember, it's always okay if this is, if you're really struggling, take an extra break. Grab a uh, quick drink of water. You can come right back into it. Just don't walk away from it. Keep going, under 15 seconds. Three, two, one. All right, drop back down. Do that last interval before our rest. Oh, take some deep breaths. You can start doing push-ups right now if you want to take out that um, low there. So I start it up. Push up and tap behind you. Keep your core pulled in. Try to keep your spine in alignment. Your back flat. About halfway. Got about 10 seconds left. Two, one, one more push up. Okay, so here's your water break. Keep your feet moving. Don't go away too far. We'll start right back in in just a minute. All right, we're ready to tackle the second half of this routine. We're doing the same thing. We're starting off with four switch foot jumps plus a squat. So get, go ahead and get your feet moving. We're gonna be doing some fun cardio here. So one, two, three, four, drop down for a squat in the middle. One, two, three, four, drop in the middle. So try to lead with a different foot each time. Make sure you're sinking down, keep your back flat for that squat. Keep your weight in your heels. Try to land soft on your feet for those jumps. About five seconds left. All right, next up we're doing plank jack lifts. So this, you need your mat for this if you're not on a soft surface, but actually, I'm not gonna use it because I might mess up my feet. So, weight in your hands and your toes. Otherwise, you're here. Kick your leg up as high as you can. Kick the other leg up as high as you can. Now, two jacks. Repeat, this time leaning with a different leg. Squeeze those glutes. Try to pull in your core. Again, you're working your entire body with this. to those flutter kicks, or those switch foot jumps with the squats. Remember, make that active rest as hard as you need to. Three, two, one, here we go. So one, two, three, four, down. Go 
one. Take a break if you need to. We're halfway done already. Three, two, one. All right. Track down to that mat. We're doing those plank jacks again. So I'll do it this way so you can see what my legs are doing. I have one back here. Five seconds left. Here we go. So two jacks. Plus, whoops, the lift. Up, we're doing a lunge plus a bow. Ooh, 10 seconds rest here. All right. Down, tap here, up, come back up, switch feet, down. Halfway right here. Ten seconds. Two, one. All right. Drop down to the floor. We're gonna be doing side hip raises. So I'm gonna start out on my right side. I'm going to do the next interval on my left. So whichever way you do it, remember so you don't end up ignoring one of your sides. Two, one, here we go. All right, so up, stressing up through your hip. If you want to make this harder, you can go on your toes, just like this. Otherwise, stay on your knees. Just crunch upwards. Try to keep this elbow joint right underneath your shoulder. Try not to slide. You should be feeling this in this hip, and this outside thigh, as well as this thigh, and of course your core, your obliques. We have about five seconds left. All right, so jump up. I'm gonna do those warrior bows again, those lunge bows. All right, so hands overhead, lunge forward, come down, touch the floor, come back up, start it over on the other side. Seconds left. All right, so remember which side you were on last time. Go ahead and lay down on the opposite side. Doing those hip raises again. And then after this, we only have one more group left before a pull down. All right, here we go. Think up. To keep it nice and steady, never really rest on the ground. You're only hovering here, so your muscles stay contracted the entire time. All 
That's halfway. Ten seconds left. Three, two, one. All right, next up we're doing a supine plank reach. So this one's kind of fun. We're gonna start on one side. I'm gonna start with this leg straightened out. So the resting part of this motion is tucking your hand in right here, and then we're gonna press up so we get a lot of glute work on each side. Stretch before you tuck back down. Again, you're not resting here, you're only hovering before you push back up. So you should feel this in your thighs, your upper body, your glutes, and your lower back. Try to use really smooth movements. I have about 15 seconds left. All right, next up we have squats plus side lifts. So, I'm gonna do a lift on each side in between our squat. Here we go, squat, there we go. Well, actually, we'll just do one. Sorry, I lied. So squat, and then come right back up with your weight in that leg, so you're actually doing a lot more work each time on one of your legs. So it's a good way to build strength and balance. And if you need to, you can hold on to something while you do this. But if you're not, it definitely takes a lot of core work. Honestly, something like this is a million times better for your abs than any kind of crunch you could ever think of. Ten seconds left. All right, drop back down on that. So whichever leg you had extended last time is coming in. Or, yeah, sorry, just do opposite leg positions. So we're tucking in on this side this time. Here we go, so press up, come back down. Remember not to let your body relax on the ground completely. And remember to keep breathing. It's really easy to hold your breath here. Squeeze at the top. We've got 15 seconds, and then one more active interval, then a cool down, and you'll get your workout complete for the day. So keep moving. Remember, squat plus side leg lifts. Here we go. So down, lift up. And try to make this as controlled as you can. You don't want to be just throwing it up there. You don't want to use momentum. You want to be in control the entire time. No cheating. It's tempting. All right, just about 20 seconds left. Five seconds. All right, that is it for your cardio. So now we're gonna bring our heart rate down and stretch out those muscles. So, just keep your feet moving for a second. Do okay, some nice deep breaths here. <sighs> All right, plant your feet. Nice and slow, stretch overhead. Stretch as far as you can for that entire way. You're all the way to the top. Now lean to one side ever so slightly. Gently, as far as you can. 
Now the other. One more time on each side. All right, next we're gonna swing down in a circle towards one of our toes. So slowly stretching the entire way down to one toe, then walk slowly over to the other. Now come back up. So whatever your range of motion is, you have to respect it. Never push a stretch to where it hurts. Move nice and slow always. No bouncing to try to get more range of motion. Just do what you can. Do that once more. So you should feel this in your lower back and the backs of your thighs. Now go down once more the opposite direction. All right, now we're gonna go into a warrior on one side. So one foot pointed forward, one perpendicular, arms out, lean into it as much as you need to to feel a stretch. Take a couple nice deep breaths here. Then tip forward, so rest your arm on your thigh, arm straight up. Stay here for a couple of breaths. All right, now fold forward and rotate. So your deep runner's lunge, go down as far as you need to to get a good stretch. You should feel this in your groin here, as well as through these, this thigh. Now slowly push up, straighten that leg, but keep reaching for that toe. Now you're going to feel this through the back of this thigh, this straightened out. All right, now come back up. Same thing on the opposite side. So point this foot forward, this one in line with your hands. Lean forward as much as you need to to get a good stretch. chest up, a nice stretch. Right now lean forward over this foot, that deep lunge. And straighten that leg. You keep reaching for that toe. Just stretch out the front of those thighs, your quadriceps. So if you need to hold onto a wall for balance, that's fine. Otherwise, pull your foot up as far as you need to. You get a stretch to the front of your thigh. If you've got an open wall or anything to rest your hand against, we're going to do a chest stretch. So place your hand against the wall, straighten your arm, and then slowly rotate away until you feel a stretch all through here. You want to make sure you drink lots of water after this. We just lost a lot of water through our workout. So you need to rehydrate as soon as you can. All right, switch sides. So opposite hand, rotate away. 
You feel a good stretch. walk down into a plank nice and slow enjoy that stretch inch your way out there now I'm gonna stay here and kind of walk so put your weight in one leg lift the other off the ground so that you're pressing your heels down toward the mat as much as you can to try to get a good calf stretch then switch keep it a nice fluid movement just hold it for a few seconds each the rest of the way. Deliver yourself to that mat. Flip your feet over and press up for a cobra stretch. Now push back. Hold over onto yourself for child pose. You should feel this through your shoulders as well as your lower back. All right, let it relax. Okay guys, that's it for this workout. If you made it all the way through, congratulations. I hope you'll come back and work out with us tomorrow. Otherwise, good job. This workout is complete.